so hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm dida if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much so in today's video we are going to do a diy wall art using a shower curtain and this shower curtain is thrifted i was able to purchase it from um, toy market it was around 300 shillings which is like three dollars and i have my canvas ready this canvas i purchased it from uh, lifestyle on instagram i'll be able to leave the link to their to their instagram page what you'll need is also mod podge this mod podge i bought it from myra's craft and i have three different ones i have a glitter matte and gloss mod podge it really doesn't matter it just goes with what you prefer and another thing you will need is some brushes and some and the sponge roller and this sponge um, thing that you use to dab the glue um, when you are doing uh, your DIY. So I purchased this from Office Mart. You can find them at your center. And then I have some glitter dust, gold and pink. I wanted to use them for for the project as well. Glitter dust. I just bought it from uh, textbook center. Then I have my staple gun. The staple gun I was able to buy at a hardware store on River Road. I believe it was around 500 shillings and it ca it came with the staples. If not five, between like it was less than 1000. So it comes with the staples, not the normal staples for your, you know, the office staple. But this is what um, is right for your staple gun. Then I purchased this glittery uh, peel and stick stuff from house of leather and they were around uh, 150 bob and then i was able to purchase some gold leaf these ones i purchased them from aliexpress i will leave a link in the description box so you can shop easily it's actually affordable to shop from outside So I tried to use a scissors to cut the shower cutting but the material is way too soft so I wasn't successful in doing that and the scissors that I had was so small. So I ended up using a normal razor and Kiswahili Wembe. So I ended up, ended up using a razor 
and um, I think it's it's a better option than using scissors because it was it was very easy and so fast so i was just cutting out the excess uh, material that i didn't need first you have to measure the edges and you have to know how much material you need so that when you cut it you have enough material for using when um when you're stapling their sides It's important to seal your gold leaf and glitter so that it doesn't fall off. So I went with the matte um, Mod Podge. For no reason at all, you can use any type of Mod Podge, but I use the matte one. And I'm just going to seal all the parts where I put the gold leaf and glitter. So this is how it looks. I really like it. I wish I could keep it, but I have so many paintings in my house. I think I'll just give this out. Um, I think it came out really nicely and you can use it in your living room or your bedroom um, to decorate, to make your space, you know, pop. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, share and also check out my Instagram at home deco by Dida and I'll see you guys next time.